In this video, I will teach you how to get started with Shopify in just a few simple steps. And also, we'll discuss packages that Shopify offers. It's important to choose the plan that best suits your business. In this video, we'll discuss how to figure that out. After you've set up your Shopify store, you will see that there are a range of plans that you can choose from. And those plans are light for $9 per month, basic for $29 per month, professional for $79 per month, unlimited for $179 per month, and Shopify Plus that begins at $995 per month. If you're uncertain which one is right for your business, I would suggest that you choose the basic plan to start out with. The light plan doesn't include many options at all. It only allows you to sell your product through social media pages, which means you won't have your own store on Shopify. Beyond that, as you might guess, the more expensive the plan, the more features that you get. This slide shows the plans that you'll most likely choose from and what features they offer. However, if you really are not certain, feel free to choose the starter plan, which will only cost you $14 per month. It's necessary to create a buy button when building your own Shopify store. In this video, I'm going to lead you through the steps of creating a buy button in Shopify and pasting it to your store. The process is extremely easy. It's just a matter of filling in the correct information in the correct place. So let's begin. First of all, I'd like to tell you that once you create a buy button in Shopify, it enables you to use that buy button on any of your other websites. It isn't limited to only your Shopify platform because it's compatible with WordPress, Squarespace, Tumblr, and many other online stores. The best part is the buy button is connected to the Shopify checkout, so you can keep track of sales from all your platforms on your Shopify dashboard. All you need to do is create the buy button, copy the code, and paste it in any of your websites. Step one is to add a buy button sales channel to your Shopify admin. If you can't find the buy button in the sales channel section of your Shopify admin, you will need to add this before you can create a new buy button or an embedded shopping cart. To add a sales channel to your Shopify admin, navigate to the settings tab and then click on the sales channels. You will be directed to the sales channels page. And when you're on this page, select the buy button within the list of available channels and then click on add channel. This screenshot is what you will see when you are on the sales channels page. Click on the add channel button and proceed to the next step. After you've added the sales channel to your Shopify admin, you can now create the buy button. To do so, first go to your Shopify admin page and open the buy button sales channel. And when you are on the Buy Button Sales Channel page, go to the top right and click on Create a Buy Button. After that, you will be directed to the product page. Select the product that you wish to create the Buy Button for and then move on to the next step. On the Create a Buy Button page, you can actually customize the Buy Button according to your needs. You can edit the button's color, text, and appearance. For instance, if you feel that an orange color buy button would convert better than other colors, you can change it here. Once you're done with editing the buy button and have selected the product, double check the price and design. Then click on the Generate Embed Code button at the bottom of the page. Shopify will then generate a code for you. Sometimes it may take a little bit, so just be patient. After the code is created, the Embed Code box will then pop up. In the Embed Code dialog, you can copy the Embed Code manually or click on the Copy Embed Code to Clipboard button at the bottom. Next, open the source HTML of the web page where you want to display the Buy button and paste it where you want the button to appear. Then, save your changes and update the page. If you're not the one that handles the design of your web page, you can send the code to your designer to paste it for you. Now, when people click on the Buy button, they will be redirected to the Shopify checkout page to complete their order. When you use the Shopify Buy button, you also get to use the Buy button features as well. 
Regardless of which platform you're using the buy button for, you can keep track of all your orders and sales through your Shopify admin. In addition, the Shopify buy button can match any theme. It's completely customizable, so matching it is no problem at all. And that's all there is to it. For new entrepreneurs, deciding to start an online business may be exciting, but it's also a new terrain that can be intimidating and difficult to navigate. One of the biggest challenges aspiring e-commerce entrepreneurs may face is figuring out what to sell online, whether to sell a single product or multiple products that occupy a market niche. Coming up with product ideas can be tough, and it often feels like everything that can be sold is already being sold. Not to mention, there is a lot of competition out there. But there are still golden opportunities to take advantage of, and new, successful products are being launched all the time. So, how can you get in on this action? Are there any products which are trending up right now? Well, I'm here to tell you that yes, there are. So let me share more details with you. First of all, you need to know which approach is the best for your business. You don't want to sell your products just by offering the lowest price because others can always undercut you. If you don't really care what you sell, as long as it generates an income, you will still need to do your homework. You must be willing to learn about the products before you can offer them on your store. Don't sell what everyone else is selling. It makes business a lot harder. Products that people are able to pick up at Walmart, such as DVDs, books, well-known clothing brands, will be difficult to sell because buying from you doesn't add any extra value. People are familiar with these products and are happy to pick them up in a department store at a good price. And they don't have to spend time researching online. It's no secret that organic search traffic is a massive marketing channel. This involves strategically looking for a product or niche online based on the search queries called keywords that people are using and determining volume and competition for those searches. This approach is fairly technical and involves a strong understanding of keyword research as well as SEO. But finding opportunities in keyword searches can be an effective strategy for capturing consistent organic traffic from Google. This strategy is particularly useful if you plan to dropship products, as the margin on dropshipped goods is thin, making it difficult to use paid advertising channels effectively. The quickest way to verify trending products to see if they're a good fit is the Google Trends tool. The Google Trends tool will show you the trend of your product ideas based on total search volume beginning in 2004. Not only does it show you the total search volume, but also displays the countries and cities that the topics are most popular in. Besides Google Trends, subscribing to Trend Publication can help you begin to search for trending products to sell online. Unlike the other resources on this list, this may not give you direct and exact product ideas. However, it helps you to start understanding where the direction of consumer buying patterns is headed, which can spark some incredible product ideas. Other product search engines are PSFK, Cool Hunting, The Cool Hunter, Uber Cool, Trend Watching, Trend Hunter, and Springwise. PSFK is a top trending online publication whose goal is to make things better. Cool Hunting is an award winning publication that uncovers the latest design, technology, style, travel, art, and culture. Cool Hunting's original content helps to inform the creative community of cutting edge designs. As for The Cool Hunter, it's a natural fit for e commerce entrepreneurs who want to stay in the know. The Cool Hunter is a leading authority on all things creative and a truly global hub for what's cool, thoughtful, innovative, and original. Ubercool is run by one man, but there is a lot of product ideas up for grabs. Trend Watching, on the other hand, searches the globe for upcoming consumer product trends. It utilizes a team of 30 trend scouts located all over the world, all searching for product trends. Use this as a resource for ideas that you can use. Trend Hunter is one of the largest trend communities with a global network of 137,000 members. It's a great source of ideas and inspiration for entrepreneurs on the hunt for new product ideas to sell online. And last, 
You can browse the new business and product ideas published in the last 30 days on SpringWise. It also publishes a daily and weekly newsletter, which you can subscribe to for free. Marketplaces are probably the most common source to find trending products because they feature current products selling online. However, because of the sheer size of these marketplaces, it's easy to get overwhelmed and give up unless you know the strategy to finding the best trending online products within these marketplaces. First, business-to-business or B2B marketplaces are gold because not only are they able to find you great products, but you can also find a supplier at the same time. One of the most popular B2B wholesale product sites is Alibaba. They are the biggest e-commerce company in the world, even larger than Amazon and eBay combined. Alibaba connects consumers all over the world with wholesalers and manufacturers, typically from Asia. With many thousands of products, there isn't much you can't find on Alibaba. You should also spend time exploring some of Alibaba's largest competitors, and these include TradeKey, Global Sources, Made in China, and India Mart. Next, consumer marketplaces sell directly to the end consumer. By strategically searching some of their trending pages, you can get a better sense on consumer trends and products related to them. Some examples would be eBay, Amazon, and Kickstarter. eBay is the largest online consumer auction site. You can find some of the most popular product categories on eBay Popular or use eBay Watch Count which is an online tool that will list the popular items on eBay based on how many people are watching them. As for Amazon, which is the largest internet retailer, you can find the most popular products on Amazon bestsellers, which is updated hourly. Also, you can find Amazon's biggest gainers in sales rank over the past 24 hours on Amazon Movers and Shakers, which is also updated hourly. Kickstarter, on the other hand, is the largest crowdfunding website. You're able to browse all projects by popularity, funding, and staff picks, as well as many other options with Kickstarter Discover. Next, let me start off by saying that these are not suggested products to sell online. These are some interesting ideas that are trending upwards, according to Google Trend. Before selling anything online, you must do your own due diligence to determine market demand and potential. Trending products are good, but if you can make it even better, why not? Putting in your own idea to an existing product to make it better and making it your own piece is not plagiarism, but an innovative product recreation. The nutrition and health industry is always changing, and there are always opportunities for new products to cater to the latest diet. One of the biggest but most interesting trends in the last few years is the paleo diet. If you don't know what a paleo diet is, it's a modern nutritional plan based on the presumed diet of paleolithic humans that lived 15,000 years ago. There is a massive spike in Google Trends beginning at the tail end of 2010. The next trending item is wooden glasses. Who would have thought this? A search for wooden glasses in Alibaba returns over 22,000 products from over 500 suppliers. With all of the supply, there is likely to be a strong demand. By searching wooden sunglasses in Google Trend, it appears that wood frame sunglasses are fairly new products but have seen consistent growth almost every year since inception. Beyond wooden sunglasses, there is also a focus on other wooden accessories. Even though there are plenty of products, wooden watches seem to be an interesting one. Based on Google Trends, it appears that they came into existence at the end of 2004 and have seen a slow but steady climb in interest up to 2012. The last interesting trendy product is matcha powder. What's matcha? Matcha is a finely milled green tea powder originating from Japan, which has become increasingly popular, along with the tea category in general. Supermarket tea sections have exploded from carrying just Red Rose and Tetley to hundreds of brands in recent years. The trend for matcha powder, according to Google Trends, has been increasing every year since 2009 and has just recently seen a massive spike in search interest. Most people start their online business with big commerce. 
And it is indeed a good place to start with, considering it gives you the option to have unlimited products and bandwidth, and it gives you sleek storefront designs. But your next step towards expanding your online business is migrating your shop to Shopify. Shopify is the new star in e-commerce platforms. Most solid online shops go with Shopify because of the included feature set and built-in scalability. So what are you waiting for? It's time to expand your online business to a better and larger platform. If you are hesitant to migrate your store to Shopify, here are some reasons why you should. First of all, Shopify provides a more stable server. Because of this, you will not have to worry about store downtime. Second, Shopify is extremely simple to use. Shopify manages all of the server's upgrades and code maintenance issues, so you don't have to worry about those anymore. Moving on, using Shopify enables you to have full control of your online store. It is hosted by Shopify, but extremely customizable. With their impressive template engine and API, you can fully customize the online store platform to your needs. Next, there are extensions or plugins available for Shopify. You are allowed to install any of the plugins and extensions to add additional features to your online store. Adding extensions is incredibly easy. It just takes a few clicks. Last but not least, moving your online store to Shopify is also simple. It should take less than an hour to move all the valuable information from your old store to Shopify. And this includes the product details, orders, images, and so on. The interface of Shopify is much simpler than other platforms. It's tremendously user-friendly. Now I'm going to lead you through the process of migrating your online store to Shopify. It doesn't really matter which platform you're moving your store from, the whole procedure is more or less the same. But in this case, I'm going to use BigCommerce as the example. So let's begin. The first step is you will need to create a Shopify account. Shopify offers a 14-day trial account for new users. You can start a trial account first, hosting your online store as well as testing the platform. And then, after the trial, pick the right Shopify plan for your store. The options are this, the light plan for $9, basic for $29, pro for $79, and unlimited for $179. Step two is to configure your Shopify store. You have two options, an online store and a retail store. You'll need to choose one of them depending on the nature of your business. If you pick the online store option, you will have a fully hosted e-commerce website. On the other hand, if you pick the retail store option, you'll get to sell in person using an iPad or iPhone point of sale system. After that, Fill in your basic information, such as your address, which sets up your tax rates and currency. And then once complete, click on the Next button to proceed to the next page, where you will need to specify whether you're already selling or not, and if yes, which platform you use the most, and so on. Follow the steps and then click on the Enter My Store button to complete the step. This step happens only after you've finished up the trial plan. You will need to choose a Shopify plan and link your account to your credit card. As I've mentioned, there are a few plans from $9 up to $179. Pick one of the plans that suits your business and select your payment method. And then click on the Confirm Charges button to complete this step. After you've picked the payment plan, the next step is to choose the theme you'd like to use for your store. It's almost impossible to move the exact design from your big commerce store to Shopify. However, Shopify does offer various themes that you can browse through and customize. If you like your branding, you can choose a theme that is closest to the design from your big commerce store. There are a number of templates available on Shopify. I'm sure you'll find one that works for you. Templates make it easier for you to visualize what your own Shopify store will look like. The previous steps are all about setting up your Shopify account and designing your store. Your store migration hasn't taken place yet. The next step is for you to install the migration app in order to move the information in BigCommerce to your new Shopify store. The app you want to install is called Cart2Cart, which can be found in the Shopify App Store. 
The app itself is free of charge, but the price for each migration costs $69. But the cost is definitely worth it because the app allows you to transfer your product details and images, the categories in your old store, customer data and shipping information, orders, manufacturers, and product orders. Moving this valuable information from the old store to the new store in Shopify would be painful to do one by one. With this migration app, moving all this information is just one click away. It's extremely easy to use. Click on the new cart to cart user tab and fill in your information. Remember that this is a different account from Shopify, so you're registering under the cart to cart app. And before migrating the information, of course, you will need to configure the source and target carts. There are three option tabs on the left part of the page, which are Source Cart Setup, Target Cart Setup, and Start Migration. In the Source Cart Setup, tell the migration where all your data is coming from. In this case, you will choose BigCommerce as your source, and then add in the URL link to your old store. Moving on to the Target Cart Setup, you will need to fill in here the new platform that you're going to use, which is Shopify in this case. So copy and paste the new URL link to your Shopify store. Follow the next steps and then click on Start Migration. And then you will get to choose the entities that you would like to migrate from the old platform, such as product details, manufacturers, customer information, orders, and so on. Click on the entities you wish to migrate. You can unclick them as well. Then click on Proceed to Next Step to select the currencies for the migration. Pick your currency and click on Proceed to Next Step. Next, you are able to migrate your order statuses from your old store to Shopify. Shopify wants to ensure that the migration happens orderly. Because these status tags have different names, it's best for you to walk through all of the order statuses to make sure the details are correct. And this will let you keep the old order statuses even after you've migrated to your new store. In this next step, you will need to manage the domain name. For this, navigate to the Online Store tab in your Shopify dashboard. Click on the Domains option on the left and click on the Add an Existing Domain button, which is located in the upper right corner. Fill in the URL to your old store and click on the Add Domain button. After you transfer your old store to the Shopify site, the domain name will be different from the old one. You definitely do not want your customers to go to the wrong place with an outdated store. What you can do to solve this problem is by setting up a redirect rule to direct the traffic from your old store to your Shopify store. And how you do this is by installing another app from the Shopify App Store. And this one's called Traffic Control Bulk Redirects. This app costs $39 and it lets you redirect your traffic from the old link to your new link. One thing you need to make sure of is that the links are all set up correctly. And then that's it. Now you're done migrating your store from BigCommerce to Shopify.